You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Keith. Johnson. After Buzz TV. After Buzz TV. From the AfterBuzz studios in Los Angeles, California, presented by Maria Menounos and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies, this is AfterBuzz TV's The Americans After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's AfterBuzz TV's The Americans After Show. Yes. A little, a little Mozart? Uh, eine kleine Nachtmusik. What's that? Oh, okay. Is that, that, that was in German. <laughs> A that little, was my German. That's all I know. A little night music. Eine kleine Nacht music. It, it, it's very uh, uh, ap apropos for this episode. Now we're French and German. We're, we're, we're getting deep, man. We're not, we're not Russian, though. No, we're definitely not. Uh, we're rushing to get this podcast started. Yo! All right. Hi. Oh, it's welcome bad to, to start. The, welcome to the Americans After Buzz After Show. I'm Joe Braswell. I'm joined uh, by my main man, Joe Sanfilippo. What nice up? to be with you guys today. How you doing? Oh, I'm living the dream, man. You living the dream? Uh, Jen, the Jew, Golden, is not with us today. Uh, she is on the East Coast having a lot of fun, and I'm sure she'll be back next week. Maybe we can all do a show together one time. Ah, it's too weird to even think about. The three of us. No, it's room. too much. I can't even. I can't even get my head around the concept. All right. Well, uh, we 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 had some Americans happening. We did, uh, and it was great as usual. The show doesn't. The show does not. So good. It's just. It just. It's, it's just good. I, for whatever reason, the best relationship show I've ever seen on television. Yeah. Well, this is this is what we keep talking about. It's it, it does a very very good. Uh, job of being a show about marriage and a show about family, you know, wrapped in this show about spies. But what it's become this week is also what it also excels at is uh, the sort of the office politics now. Now we're getting to the sort of the office politics at the Residentura and the office politics over at the FBI with GAD and everything else. And I got to tell you, Joe. You tell me, Joe. It's a sidebar. Sidebar, Joe. You know my, you know my, uh, my angry black guy power rankings. Yeah, I do. I know. I, my understanding is currently uh, Lawrence no, Fishburne is my, the top. My angry head of the FBI black guy rating scale. Yes. I, my understanding is Lawrence Fishburne yes. at the top. Yes. Followed by Rock. Right. Uh huh. And Charles then S. Dutton. Charles S. Dutton. And then uh, then Harold Cooper. Harold AKA, Cooper from the blacklist. Uh, from the blacklist. Uh, right. And and that is my understanding of the current rankings. And then from there, the various guys they've gone through on the following. I've got down. right. Well, I've got a, I got a <laughs> I got a very prediction. I said the only show we don't have an FBI angry black guy is in is the Americans. And when Gad said, "Oh, I see," they're bringing in somebody from Atlanta. I was like, "Hot damn!" Hot Atlanta coming in. That's a brother from Atlanta coming in. Uh oh. So I'm so excited. So you think that there's going to be? <laughs> it's got to be. He's going to slot over Gad, and then Gad is going to be pissed all day long. Nothing TV likes more than uh, a head of the uh, angry head of the FBI black guy. Why? Well, yeah, it is the truth, isn't it? They, 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 showrunners love it. So anyway, that's my prediction. We'll that's we'll a good see. prediction. All right, that's pretty let's solid. Get into this episode. So a lot, a lot happening. Who's in this left? Uh, who's left? What? Who's left? Who are they going to cast? Oh, <laughs> no, there's, there's plenty. There's plenty of angry black guys around there <laughs> that want to head the FBI. Um, all right. So listen, we're we're back. Uh, so yeah, man. Uh, Elizabeth and Philip are, you know, still sort of like you know worried about the kids, but really uh, find themselves in a dual mission, if you will. They've got they got some they got word on uh, our guy, our converted. Uh, our, 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 our patriot, our newly, uh, you, well, uh, we start out in that in that in that in the synagogue, which is ironic because this is right. this is the uh, the communist, the, you know, this is communist Russia in the eighties. So this is an atheist country. There's no yeah. religion, yeah, and and the Orthodox Church is barely tolerated underground. Jew, Jews are not tolerated, you know, and not they're not they weren't persecuted in the way they were in Germany. Although oh, that's not fair, they were persecuted, but not to that extent. Sure, but um, but you you know, religion was the the the, the Russian uh, the USSR was not a religious. Uh, there was no religious affiliation. There was no God. It was atheist, which he made very clear when he was saying like. This, now in this country, I have the freedom to, you know, enjoy baseball and the freedom to, you know, be in the, be here in the synagogue, and I love America. That's it, and that that's what what sold Philip on like ah, I'm not flipping this dude. He's yeah. he's too into this thing. So then they decide that uh, they have to repatriate him. Yes. Well, they didn't decide <laughs> that. The resident tourist, somebody above them, decided it. Right. But that that opening thing, see, they they seem they seem so happy. Philip and Elizabeth seemed in that moment in the car where they're talking about. Yes. You know, it it just. 
it felt like a normal couple for a hot minute yeah. until 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 Instagram came came cruising across the street and ruined and ruined, until Claudia ruined Christmas. Claudia ruined Christmas. Um, like they're 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 just driving. They're having such a nice nice yeah. normal couple talk. Like you know like yeah, hey, I want to get a new car. Why not? You know you well, you seem excited about it. Of course. Well you know we got the new account. Stan's got that plumber. He's turned us into all these other people. <laughs> We're doing pretty good. We'll expand at the office. Maybe a new car. We don't need a new car. It's consumerism so stupid. I think a new car be the, oh shit that Claudia. Yeah. Damn it. That's this is what the show does really well too. It's it's a whole like. You, you get sort of right when you think things are normal in a right. relationship and a family, you're like, oh yeah, that's right, they're spies. Like they got spy shit to do, you know. <laughs> so that's uh, that's that's really bad. So yeah, so they 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 they're handling the mission. They're talking about the car. Uh, we see the return of Margot Martindale as Claudia, who I, we, we, we are reminded what an amazing actress she is and how wonderful she is, and it's great to see her. Um, she gets in a car and she seems pretty sincere in 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 um being concerned about Elizabeth and being concerned about the two of them. And really, I don't know. I mean, I, God, it's so tricky. Like we, we were conditioned because there's a spy show and because of last season, we're conditioned not to trust Claudia, but is Claudia like, she, she has she done anything not trustworthy, like directly? Well, you know, she did. She did have them um, beaten within an inch of their well, lives. That. As that's, I recall, that, that's just that's just you know. And then you know that, <laughs> that's that, part of the job. In the process of that, that if I remember right, did endanger yeah. the kids because they couldn't get home and the whole nine yards. Uh, you know, it's... you know. And if I remember right, Elizabeth did have some some like I will kill you. Yeah, things happen. Um, she beat the crap out of her. Yeah, there was there was some viciousness. <laughs> yes. as I remember. If I remember, Instagram on his head was 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 dented pretty good. Yes. Um, uh, for those new to the, to the podcast, last season um, we called her Instagram. Her name is Claudia Margot Martindale. Just want to that that's where that's her thing. I, I didn't name her Instagram, but I'll go with it because okay. I think it's legit. Go ahead. Um, <laughs> but you know, I, I it's so interesting because. Uh, I guess from her point of view, she's got to juggle. You know, she got to juggle the people. Uh, you know, the, the the wants and the needs of the people above her, and at the same time, she's the handler of the people on the ground. Right. So she's got to, you know, to whatever degree she's able. It sounds like, you know, to be concerned about their well-being, but it's obviously secondary to whatever mission, you know, has been decided upon by the people above them. Sure. Yeah. Uh, you know, it, it's interesting. I don't. I can't think of a, a of anything in, on TV that's really spent. You, we've spent so much time with with spies. Yeah. I mean, you know, and, and in their day to day lives and really getting to know them. And it's it's interesting to kind of I think season two for me, for whatever reason, is kind of sinking in like just how much pressure must be on them all day, right. every day. And there's such a temptation always to kind of go, well, he's a spy. He can do it. Or she's right. a spy. She can do it. But, you know, this episode, it seems like Elizabeth really she she gets she gets. Well, yeah, we'll, we'll get to that. We'll talk, we'll talk about what's going on with Elizabeth in a second. But before that, you know, uh, they, you know Claudia tells him that. Uh, you know, we we want to get like she wants to go off off the books. When it wants to go find the killers, more pressure, man. Yeah, you, no, no, we, we we can't okay this through in, through channels. So I right. want you to do this as a side mission. Right. So you're running a business as a side mission. You're running a family as a side mission, and I want you to add finding the killers of these other people. Uh, as a side mission, right. while there's a real mission that's coming down from the resident Tura. That's a pretty serious mission. That's a pretty serious mission to repatriate right. the, uh, the, uh, the what you call it, the, the, scientist. The, the scientist who's in charge of stealth technology yes. for the Americans. Well, that, that we know that, that we now know. So, yeah, there's a lot going on there. So I, the pressure that's happening there with, with these guys, with, you know, with the two of them. And in the meantime, your daughter's going to a church that you don't know about, a youth group you're not aware of, and starts praying at dinner. Well, so... <laughs> Let's talk about Paige for a second. So, you know, I was really, uh, I was a, little, a bit relieved, I would say, and I know you probably weren't, but I was a bit relieved to see that, you know, the the her sneaking away. We we all thought this woman, this girl was trouble, right? We thought like, oh no, she's gonna get involved with this girl. And they're gonna go off and do all kind of bad stuff, and they go off and they sneak off to a nice, lovely church with a bunch of cute boys, you know, playing guitar and singing, and Paige seems to like it. She's finding God. That's great. And uh, so I, I was happy. I'm like, oh, that's that's sweet, Paige. You know, she's <laughs> she's. What's yeah. wrong? What's wrong? Uh, I, I, <laughs> what's wrong, Joe? I have a, a you know. It's interesting to kind of you know, for my personal day deal, religious wise, I'm I'm not particularly. And and it's interesting to kind of find yourself. I was raised Catholic, but it's, it's bizarre to find yourself associating more with Philip and and and, and Elizabeth. With oh, this, yes. then I would be associating with the kid going to church. Yeah, you know, I'm more like, <laughs> no, I totally get it. What the hell are you put in my kid's head? You know, <laughs> no, get you just have a guitar so many in your ass. What do you? She could be doing. I know intellectually, I recognize that. She's, and she's and well, and the, and the key thing here is there's it's the secrets, right? So you know, she is she's 
what, what, what I feel like Philip and Elizabeth are missing is she's doing what she knows. She's brought up in a house of do- closed doors and privacy and and secrets and everything else. And she's like, well, shit, I'm, I want my own secrets. I'll have that my own is secret. totally true. That's you a know? very, very good point. And, and, and even, though her, even though the secret was not so diabolical, she wasn't off the smoke right. in the grass or doing anything else or God knows what. She was, it's her thing. She's, it's very personal to her and it's her business. And I think that speaks a lot to the way teenagers, teenage girls are, but also speaks to the way that household is run, you know? I don't know. I, I, I think this is very interesting, but I'm so glad that it wasn't anything scary. Well, you're, well, it's, but that's a matter of a point of view. I mean, for Elizabeth and and for, <laughs> oh, for terrifying. Philip, terrifying this is terrifying. For, terrifying for Elizabeth. Like, especially. can you imagine being raised in 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 in, in the USSR right. in in the 60s and 70s, right. and and you're uh, you know I'm sorry, 50s and 60s is probably more accurate for them. And and you go on to assignment in, in the in in the late 60s, early 70s, and you're raising your family in the 80s, and you have been taught your entire life that this thing, religion, has been used to start all these wars, yep. to persecute all these different groups of people, to create all these different systems of control, to, to funnel all this money through a capitalist, uh, a capitalist, uh, what do you call it, a capitalist uh, structure. And religion is the fuse, the fusing element for all of these things. Yeah. And this is why in the USSR we're not allowed to have it. We don't do it because we are free from it. Right. And so then to go to, the, go to America and your daughter goes and seeks it out. That's, I mean, you know it's, what I'm saying? Well, this, that, what's great about this is it's the ultimate rebellion, right? So, in, in this, right, absolutely. Teen, teenagers are going to rebel. They're going to do this stuff. They're going to do whatever their parents do. They're going to rebel. Now, Paige doesn't necessarily know, doesn't know at all that this is a rebellious act to her communist parents, but uh, it turns out to be the ultimate rebellion, you know, and, and, and boy, Elizabeth is, is furious about it. And um, I don't know. So, we'll, I, we'll see, we'll see that, that whole, how, how that whole thing shakes out. I'm sure that, uh, you know, the, uh, They'll be keeping a close eye on Paige and chasing her around. Ooh, are they chase? Who else should we be chasing, Joe? Speaking of chasing, oh, that's a good segue. <laughs> uh, we have a little something here from our from our lovely friend Maria and, and others. Tuesdays on Oxygen. I'm Maria Menounos, and my life can get a little crazy. I host Extra. I'm an actor, producer, dancer, wrestler, and a lot of other things. I live with Kevin, my boyfriend of 15 years. Do you really love me? I would say that I'm in serious like. And my parents. Yep, I just said I live with my parents. You drive me crazy. You drive me crazy. My parents want us to get married. You both love each other. Get married. Kevin and I don't. I am going to get married when I want to get married. I think I want kids. Kevin definitely doesn't want them now. This is being pushed on to us. And of course, my parents wanted them yesterday. This year, you got to have it. And I have a house full of people counting on me financially. If I take my eye off the ball, everything can fall apart. It doesn't matter what anybody else thinks or wants us to do. It's what we want to do. Everyone thinks that they know what's best for me, but I'm really the only one. I have got to figure things out. Chasing Maria Menounos is so new. Every Tuesday at 10, 9 central, starting March 18, only on Oxygen. Yes, one show one show down. It was fantastic. We'll keep watching. If you're not already watching, check it out. It's a great show. She's an unstoppable lady. She with is. Tremendous energy. I think that is a, a brilliantly named uh, show right there. <laughs> Chasing Maria. Okay, so uh, so back to back to the resident Dora. Please. Um, well, so before that, I want to I want to get into um, what's happening at the office with uh, Gad and Stan because you know Stan. Poor we, Stan. Well, we see it, it seems that Stan's in in line for a combination. You would think. Uh, and he did sort of like you know you know really stop stop a uh, potential assassination, uh, and uh, turns out no, not at all, not yet. Uh, no the, love for you. The, the office is uh, it, w- what he did last season when he. Blew to, off, uh, what's his name's face? Yes, it's coming back to haunt not only him, but the entire, the entire yeah, office. And Gad's going to take the fall for it, it looks like. It looks like. I mean, he's being moved sideways. And by sideways, he means out, yep. <laughs> out, out of the way. Um, and he said he's not going to drag, he'll take no pleasure in dragging uh, Stan down with him. But this is weighing heavily, heavily on Stan. You know, I mean, I think that that uh, he his responsibility, like he's not taking what he does, and he mentioned this to in the bar, like taking a life is not something that he takes lightly. Um, in this, in this in, while he's been working in this case, he's he's t- you know brutally point blank killed two people. Right. Lord knows what the hell happened to him in uh, you know with that biker gang going undercover, which we're, right. we're, I'm sure we'll find out. Um, he's having a rough go. Well, you know, I always I always love scenes like that when when you know you're talking to someone 
who's done way more worse stuff than you have. Right. You know, and, and but you don't know. Uh, you know, I think one time I met Michael C. Hall at a, at a club and I didn't recognize him. Right. And, and, uh, and, and he's like, what do you do? I'm like, oh, I'm an actor. You know, it's this and it's that and blah, blah, blah. And then I was like, oh, how about you? He goes, oh, same kind of thing. And I didn't, I had no idea that, you know, yeah. and, and, and I'm like, later on, I see him, I'm like, oh, what a tool. Like, don't worry, we'll pick up for you, buddy. Yeah, it'll be all right. You know? <laughs> it's a tough, it's a problem that's out here. <laughs> so that's how I kind of felt Dexter. about that scene. He's like, he's like, oh, you know, I've, I've, I've killed a couple of people. And, and Phillips would go, oh, yeah, yeah, that's great. I can't even imagine. <laughs> that, was, that was, what, Tuesday for me? Yeah, you have no idea who you're talking to. Right, you know? Uh, but that was, that was also a very interesting scene. So we get, we get more of an insight into Stan because that, that's, you know, Stan needs a friend. Like, like, like he said, he, he needs a friend. He doesn't. He's not talking to his wife about anything ever. Nope. You know, we can't talk about the job. He sure as hell can't talk about the mistress. Um, he has to be very careful what he talks to Nina about. Although he's, you know, his lips are getting lo looser, and he really can't tell um, Philip everything but, uh, that he wants to tell him. But it's there. But I think that that and him with that whiskey and then sort of saying very bluntly, "I'm having an affair." You know, I, you know, and, and right. I killed a guy. And this is what it is, and the marriage is this, and I don't know what's happening. You know, it's it's funny to me. Years ago, when I was younger, I'd watch a show where where there was somebody that was middle aged that felt the need to to be recognized, to say things, to be seen. Right. And I never understood it. And now, as I get older, I've been married a long time. You, I start to get it. Like you, mm -hmm. you know, your marriage becomes a partnership. Your Careful. marriage. Yeah. Well, yeah. But no, <laughs> it, it it becomes a partnership. It becomes almost a business. Right. And and you know, there is you. I, I start to see these characters are are legit. They're real. And the need that these guys have to be recognized, to be seen, to be understood, that is a real thing. Yeah. And, and uh, you know, I, and I think just that motivation in and of itself, it, for, there's a temptation to reject it and to be like, well, why would you come out and say something so stupid? That doesn't right. make any sense. You've got so much on the line. But that's, that's, that is the motivation, yeah. to be seen, to be understood, to be heard, because so many people feel like they're just... They're just overlooked, especially especially Stan, who's you know he's a hero, mm -hmm. as far as he's concerned, and that his agency that he's a hero with can't even recognize him for what he just did. Right. He doesn't even get a pat on the back from the upper guy who comes in. He comes in the office. I'm running a girl at the Residentura. Mm -hmm. I've got all this intel for you. I just saved all these World Bank big big wigs who have no idea that I did it for them. I just yep. saved their lives, and you can't even give me a goddamn pat on the back. Yeah. All you do is come in here and and sweep me under the rug and tell Gad he's in trouble. Yeah. No you know, love. It, it, it makes you wonder. I mean, you know, Stan's pretty true blue, but it makes you wonder, you know, if Stan can get a little jaded at some point, and maybe I don't know. Well, realistically, how can you not? Well, what, I, what I'm saying is, I mean, you know, uh, this is the jaded people are who go to the other side sure. and turn and you know do stuff, and I don't know. We'll 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 see how that plays. I don't think Stan's going to you know become a double agent or a Russian spy, but I'm just saying. But it's, it's an interesting thought, isn't it? Yeah. Because you you just see how how at least for me anyway, I see how how collectively, you know, when you get down to it, the people that run the government, the government apparatus is is if you you know view it as something that's locked and it's in place and it exists and it functions over time, but the people who control that that is switched every yeah. four years. And, and or every six years, depending on 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 on, uh, on who's elected where, and then and then these appointments they change, and really the people who run the the the, the direction of these organizations they're business people, yeah. ultimately. So you know it, it's it's really interesting to see that you know people who kind of give it up for a flag, give up all their control to, to support the flag. You do see how they can be left kicking in the wind. Sure, with especially nothing. like a twenty five year vet like Stan, sure. who's seen you know who's seen administrations come and go, and seen directors come and go. So. You know, look. Well, Wind blows wrong, and you get none. I'm just, re I'm feeling really, really bad for Stan in terms of like I'm really looking at sort of what his, where his life is, and and you know, with 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 his, you know, his marriage is obviously not happening at all, and not happy for a long time. He's very happy with Nina, but that's we know that that's not going to end well. Nothing good there. You know, um, his best friend is a Russian spy. That can't go well. Uh, like <laughs> so, I feel like Stan's on a on a, on a one way bullet train to you yeah. know I don't know Whatsville, but Stan is Stan <laughs> Stan's is, not gonna be not gonna be doing well. You, ain't if lying. you, you think he's not doing well now? Wait till he finds out that his Stan, his best friend's a spy, his mistress is a double agent, it. and his wife is out you know doing whatever she's doing. You're 100 percent right. He is one day of revelations <laughs> away from an absolute shitstorm. Yes. I, I, Wait I, a minute. You what? You yeah. what? No. And she? Oh what? Yeah. No. I yeah, I we don't know what's gonna have to stand. Crash and burn, man. So uh, let's switch over to the politics over at the Residentura. You know, so now we, you know, our guy Oleg. I, 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 
I still say Oleg is going to be. Um, no, you called it. You called it. He's moving on up. He's moving on up. I think he was. I think he was never down. I think that he's tr- keeping a low profile, but he always. Oh, you think he's got? You think he's got the juice one way or the other? Yeah, I think he's got the juice one way or another. And I think that I really don't know that it's all his. Let me just call pops, or let me just call my family. You, you think he was dropped in there? I think he's dropped in there. I got you. To oh, I guess I guess that's last, last week. I think he's dropped in there to basically be Arcadia's replacement of some sort, or keep an eye on Arcadia, or monitor the whole situation. You did. You said that last week. Yeah. yeah. So. And so I think that that's what's happening still. And so, you know, he's playing it cool, but he's like, you know, with all due respect, with all due respect, uh, Arcady, uh, I don't want to step on your toes, but I may think. And Arcady's like, get the hell out of here, kid. Like, you know, I got this covered. I, I thought, you know, I thought Arcady was pretty respectful. I thought the way he structured what he said was very, very respectful. Well, the first time around, like, when it was a little, little smug when he says, uh, of course, and I'd like to give you that access. I mean, I would like to tell you all about it, but you don't have the clearance. Slam. Nothing I can do. <laughs> but I, I, yeah. I, I felt very much like he was he was very diplomatic. Like it was very clear that Arcady knew that there was pretty good chance the guy you shit on uh, when he's on the way up is going to be the guy shitting on you when he's when he when you're on the way down. Right. I I, I felt that he had that, but I did feel that that he uh, he wanted to toss some stuff in in his face a little bit there at that last scene he in did. the office. He did. Well, he, he yeah, he basically like like said like look you can. You can go over my head all you want, but you'll still be you, and, I'm, and I, I, I know more than you. Right. <laughs> like I know what's going on. You know, you, you can do it all, all you want. Um, I think it's also very interesting. Now that he has all the information, now he has. Oh, it's a message for you, Joe. Uh, now, <laughs> thanks, Marissa. Oh, was, was that Steven? Hi, Steven. That was that was the, that was the good the, the good Lemieux right there. Yes. Um, so. Oh, so yeah. So now he has all this information. He has a complete file on all the happenings at the resident tour, right? So now that he has all that files. He has all the Nina background. He now does. we know Nina has been very explicit in her in detailing what's going on with. So Stan. now he knows where Nina's going, how he's she's servicing, how the the whole structure, the whole scene. Yes. And Arcady, you never got the sense that Arcady was interested in Nina in in any kind of other in other capacity. No, not, not necessarily. But Oleg, you don't get that. Oleg's Oleg's, yeah. Oleg's got a little interest in Nina. And maybe that that that, that worst penthouse forum ever written. Uh, that, 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 that Nina's been writing. I serviced what, him orally before I allowed him to penetrate me. Was not, was not necessarily attractive to us, but maybe Oleg is like, hey, you know. Maybe, maybe that, uh, you know. <laughs> I don't know how the Russians get it's down. Not, it's not Chekhov, but he's yeah. into it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, he, but he's also very respectful when he came to her and he's basically. He did, yeah. yeah. And, and it, well, so do you believe him? Do you believe I don't know, man. He, he just strikes me as a Russian frat boy. I am, I, I, and so I feel about him like I feel about most frat boys, right. uh, some of our best friends notwithstanding, right. where I'm like, I love you, but I'm gonna keep an eye on you. I'm, right. You know what I mean? I yeah, but I, yeah, there's definitely more than meets the eye with this guy. But I mean, do you think his sincerity is really based in respect for her job and that he likes her in that way, or is this, just, or is it sort of this like I'm trying to get in your pants? I think in the in the beginning it was I'm trying to get in your pants. Now maybe it's switched, right? Because you know, there's some some guys are like, hey, that's great, I can get some too, and some guys are like, okay, well now it's not really for me, and yeah. I don't now now it's kind of tainted. I'm not into that, but I, I respect you. Interesting. I, I still think that Nina's ultra. I think Nina's very intrigued by, by him. I think so. she is too. I yeah. think it's it's, and and her reaction to him is maybe a reaction to her her feelings about him. Sure. Like, I, I I don't want to feel that way, so I don't. I love the way she's playing it. Yeah. Um. So, there's that. So we didn't we didn't get a lot of uh, Nina and Stan this week. We didn't get any of Nina and Stan this week. We got mostly the you know the the, the resident tour stuff. But again, I love it's you know these relationships. You know, we got the the, the relationships as they play out. In the office, relationships as they play out, you know, within the marriage, within the friendship between Stan and, and Philip, and 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 also now we're getting into the relationship with Martha and uh, <laughs> poor Martha, poor oh, Martha, poor Martha. That's, a, that's another one. That's another one who's not, you know, maybe we can get Martha and Stan together. That'd be it. no. He'd never be into it. No, <laughs> maybe no, no chance. All right, now like he's that. heading Nina. He's not going to go for Martha. I like- that's true. I, I like Martha a lot. I do too. It just, and I just, how many times a month do we say poor Martha? We yeah. just, it's constant. Um, so, yeah. So, ladies, sh- if you marry a guy who's never home, something's wrong. Well, I'm just saying. All right. So, Mar- you know, so Martha is very much in love, was waiting for her uh, Sunday romantic morning, romantic long, morning, lazy morning, long, lazy morning with Clark, mm-hmm. you know. And, and Clark is now um, trying to, I mean, is he trying to bust this thing up or what's, what's, what's Clark well, doing? Well, I don't know, man. It, I, I was going to ask you that because he had, it, I mean, it could be one of two things. Well, probably more than two, but either two will come to mind for me, or he's got to bounce out because he's got the op, he's got to get going. So one way or the other, he has to get out of the, 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 the thing so he can start a fight. That's one way out. Right. And the other thing is, Maybe he's trying to light a fire under Martha to give him more access to Gad's office, but yeah. how much more can he really no. get? Nah, he had it to feels get out like the that. Op. 
like 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 I said a couple episodes ago, I don't know how it ends for Martha. I don't know how Mar- it, it doesn't end up any other way than her being dead or in jail. You know, because yeah, there's no good. There's so, no good out. Like, there's no good out for her at this point. So I wonder if. I don't know. It's Unless like, Clark can fake his own death, but I don't think that's going to happen now that she's putting his name on the application. That's kind of the that's kind of the deep water right there. But I wonder if it, if it's uh, you know Philip you know slash Clark if it's, it's his intention, their intention to once they're done with Martha, once they have all the intel they need, boom, she's gone. Or maybe it's like let's try to get out of the situation. I'm married to her, but let me get unmarried to her so we don't have to kill her. I don't know. Whatever it is, or maybe it's just is a he simple really fight. married to her though. Dude, they're married. Yeah, but I mean, is it a legit marriage? Is it real? I mean, as real as you'd be married to a Russian spy named Clark is. And I, he, I don't remember who did the who did the wedding. Is it? I mean, is it legal? It's a legal wedding. All right. Okay. But I don't know. You know, like, that's 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 Philip's you know third identity. Like that's three identities in. He's this Russian dude, then he's Philip, and then he's Clark. Like that's <laughs> I don't know who's I don't know, I don't know who she's married to, but uh, I don't know anybody can keep that kind of stuff straight. Yeah, <laughs> that's you're 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 hilarious. Uh, <laughs> No idea what you're talking about, but uh, <laughs> but here, here's my question. Yes. So so she's trying to get a hold of, of Clark in the end there. Well, first they have a good a good fight, and yeah. and I think she's finally standing up for herself. Yes. And and she calls him a pencil pusher, which else she called? Yeah, him? yeah, the uh, the pencil pushing nobody or yeah, something. Yeah, something. It was it was like like you like you got a little thing. Like yes. it was it was on, it was, it was, very... on, it was on those lines. And uh, is that okay, Lemieux? <laughs> yeah, okay, excellent. Okay. Thumbs up. Okay. So um so. <laughs> So it was. It was. Uh, you know, that was that was a great scene for her. I was like, "Yeah, get him!" Because right. he's, he, it was. It's so screwed up what he's doing. Sure. And um, I was hoping. You know, I'm hoping that she gets mad enough to leave him. But then later on that night, she's calling him. Hey, it's your wife. I'm filling out this application. Well, she's. She's. What she's doing is she's. She's starting to get suspicious over. Like, I think there's some suspicion there, right? I think it's kind of like she's looking at the record. Like, well, what am I doing here with this thing? I'm recording. Why stuff. am I doing this? This is like, just weird. What's going on here? And he's never here. Hmm. Like, do, I, do, I, do I? What's and he does, I, well, I'm a, people aren't, aren't to know that we're married. It's a secret. So she's like, well, I don't want to perjure myself. So I'm going to put it out. You better call me now. She can't get a hold of him. She's got the white wine going. I don't know. <laughs> like, I don't know. White wine is the middle-aged woman. Man. That, that is that is the not, cliche. Not just middle-aged woman, brother. Is like, that, oh, man. Like, that's that's that's, 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 that's a, We're going to make bad some news. bad decisions. And we're <laughs> starting with a good Chardonnay. With the... Or 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 a, or a box or a, or a box, or a box of, as, as, a, a white as, as our mothers do. Oh Lord have mercy! <laughs> but anyway, yeah, the box of white grenache. So yeah, she's she's angry. So well, well, that that's going somewhere. Obviously, they, they oh, love that hanging. I don't know definitely. what where where that's going. That's going somewhere into some sort of exposure. I got a question for you. Yeah. Now this is the only thing about the show that I I take umbrage with, because I love this show and I think it's so brilliantly done and it's so well thought out. Mm-hmm. But do, wouldn't you think? That FBI headquarters, if you worked at FBI headquarters, yep. there would be some, uh, I mean, some at some point, some sit-down seminar where, hey, uh, just so you all know, if um, you get married to somebody mm-hmm. who's not at home and has your recording stuff in another office, uh, you're probably married to a spy. Just a little FYI. Right. Just getting that out there for all you guys. Go back to work. Hope you guys are doing great. Well, I think that Martha's starting to put together like I think you're right. rotten in Denmark. Uh, okay, so... Back to uh, Philip and Elizabeth. So Elizabeth seems, you know, so they have a mission, they have a very specific mission. Well, they have two. You know, one is the, repatri- the repatriation, kidnapping of our guy. Our scientist. Our scientist. And the other is this super covert, off-the-books mission that they're running for Claudia, which is basically to find out. Um, to, yeah, we're going to get to the bottom of who killed uh, who killed the other family. Now, now they're very specific. Like, you know, I, I couldn't tell earlier if, if Philip was asking her, is she up to this because he knows that she's kind of shaky and not herself? Or was she like, you don't have to go sleep with this dude and do their do your thing. Like, let's there's, there's tons of ways in. Let me go do it. Let me do it this time. It's like, no, I got it. I don't know what was happening there in your opinion. Was it was that like was he not wanting her to go sleep with this guy because it seemed like she didn't care about that, or was he worried about her, you know, uh, being able to carry out her spy duties because she's a little shaky. You know, I'm Sicilian. I can't really separate. To be perfectly right. honest with you, I have a difficult time. Right. So, like for me, it's always about don't touch my wife. That's mine. You know. So, I mean, like I have to separate myself from that and kind of and Fair try. Enough. And, you know what I'm saying? Like I have a very difficult time with that. Right. So I have to to separate myself from from Philip and, and and recognize. I think he was more concerned about her. You know, being able to emotionally handle the mission. Right. Which uh, you know, Claudia seemed to be concerned about. And and it seemed like it was it was more it, he was more concerned because it was starting from a very specific place. Uh, you know, at, at the beginning of this season. 
you know, there was there was the the whole ep- the whole thing with the uh, with, with the other family. Yep. You know, that was no problem. She was she was on top of that dude going to work. Right. And uh, you know, you remember that? Yep, and and of course. that didn't bother her at all because that was a one day no emotional investment. You know, this guy's this guy's you know getting involved with these girls in the first place. Right. She didn't feel anything. Nope. But this guy sounds like he's a kid. And and he's he's emotionally vulnerable. She'll have to be emotionally vulnerable to get to him the way yeah. she wants to get to him. Yeah. It's not a one night thing. It's a long term operation. Philip, you think Philip knows this. Like, I think so. I know what this is going to take to get this guy. Let me just do it. Let me do it the other way, so you yeah. don't have to get so emotionally I can involved. I get close to him, and she's like, "No, I got this." So, which which uh, she did, and you know, talk about poor, you know, poor Martha. This kid. This poor kid. Oh man, he's gonna be broken. <laughs> he's, he's breaking my heart. This kid. He's gonna, and you know, afterwards, he's never gonna. He's never gonna be right. Yeah. And, and the irony of it is, she's made up a story about a rape. That's what she's doing to him. Right. It's just a different way of doing it. Well, it's cool about what the way she's going about it, though. And I do like. I mean, it it seems like she. So what happened in your opinion? So she she did the whole Mozart move, you know, and did the whole you know a little night music and did the you know did the whole right. thing in the record store, which was a good play. Uh, and like I said, the, the wig game has stepped up this season. I keep saying that. The wig game has stepped up. Thank you. The go- Thank you for stepping up the yes. wig game. And Jen and I talked about this last week. The wig, they, they're listening to us. The wig game is good. The goatee, his goatee in church was dope. That was a good goatee, huh? Yeah, it's a good goatee. So they, they, got a, they got a better wig budget or they're, or they're doing something. But anyway, so, uh, so she came up and, uh, you know, did a great sort of, you know, very mild seduction. What do you call know? it? Meat sweet? Uh, uh, what? Um, meat cute. Meat cute. Yeah. Very well done. <laughs> meat sweet. Meat sweet rhymes. That's a little weirder. Uh, so yeah, they, they did a nice little meat cute there. And then, uh, and then she, uh, you know, took him. You know, took him. Let her. Let him take her back to the place, the, the motel, the motel where stuff is done. Motel, motel. And so they start to get intimate. And what happened there with her? What, now that the, is the question. The question is: Is she? Was this always the plan? Like, I'm not going to sleep with this guy. I'm going to. I'm going to. You know, draw him out more by saying I need time. Or was she about to do it and then felt like she couldn't do it? Like, what? How did you read that? Um, I I don't know. Like at first, I was like, oh man, Elizabeth is broken. Right. And and then you know she had the whole rape story. I was like, okay, that actually makes sense. It it plays into what she did in in the hotel room, and that that obviously is the play. And then you know she gave him that she gave him the handy in the car. That didn't she didn't bat an eyelash at that. Well, she did. Well, I mean, she looked bummed out, but she didn't look you know. Right. And and I wonder is she bummed out because that's going to put him in, in in a certain position like she's she's kind of you know maybe it's lowering him in her esteem or or is is it because she's just she's just tired of this and she you know I well also know. the situation in the car uh you called it a handy uh, I, I, the situation in the car is a lot less I like, I like the way you, 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 you wrapped yourself up in the flag on that one. Like just, <laughs> so uh, handy? Is that what you kids what, are calling? What, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. That is. Um, but that's a lot less emotional, right? That's a lot, lot less a less emotional attachment than actually sleeping with them. So that was something that I feel like that, that was a thing she couldn't, she felt like she couldn't do. She felt bad for this guy. We saw this as a theme the last couple episodes when she's, how she was, um, on the app with the guy with the kids, like they probably would have said the old Elizabeth would have baked, you know, knocked him over the head with a wrench, but this one took his took his uh, his, his pictures and, right. and and reminded them that she knows where he lives. And She's leaves. not quite right, and so um, yeah, so we see that. So we her 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 plan seems to be working, you know, seems to be working fine. Um, but uh, she's not right, right? No, I don't think she's quite back. I think Claudia is right. I think she's not quite back. Yeah. And so, um, and Claudia picked up on that, and they had that exchange, and they had that very meaningful exchange there. Again, I want to believe Claudia. And when she says, like, I don't want to lose anyone else, I mean, she seems pretty sincere. I don't she think does. She's up to something, right? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. I don't... Uh, you know, Claudia, I mean, she's, she's, she's an older, nice right. lady. Again, this is a problem with us it's knowing more... too much about the, the business of television. We know that. We know that Margot Martindale's not on the show. We know they only have her for like three or right. four episodes. You, you, know what, you know what the arc is. You know what the yeah, guest star so arc is. three episodes, so... is she going to die? Is going to happen? And, and that's kind of like the, that's the, the danger of modern technology. Right. We know too much. We so it, too it's much. almost like, you know, it's almost like we, we, we know the formula and we know too much of the uh, of the scheduling. So we're like, oh, we got this. Yeah. So, so I, I, do, I, I, do a, I do myself a service. I don't even like to know. I don't okay, like to good. know what the guest star arc is because, I mean, that then, then it's no fun. Then it's you know true. what's going to happen. It's totally true. So, uh, so then we, so then we, 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 uh, we, we touched on Paige, them confronting Paige about the religion thing, which was, you know, very, uh, you know, traumatic for Paige. But well, 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 she's, well, she's, she did a great job of standing up for herself. Well, I, well you know, I mean, let me let me go back briefly to to uh, to Elizabeth because you know, in that last scene, when, well, I'm going to jump to the. We're, we're going to go there. Yeah. All right, because I, no, no, no. I want I want I want to just make sure we covered Paige. I got you. You know, and and that and that scene before we jump to that because now we have the the big mission, right? We have the, the big the big the big. Um, 
kidnapping scene. And uh, everything seemed to be going well. She seemed to be very, very distracted with the whole page thing. Uh, and, and initially it was like, in that, in that moment, Paige was, I mean, sorry, Elizabeth was very, very overwhelmed and distracted with what's going on with Paige, 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 Paige. Whereas Philip was like, dude, we'll figure it out later. We have a mission. Like he didn't say it, but it's like, we're on a mission. Like, I know, honey, I know, but we have, we're focus. We're just like, well, what about, this is unbelievable. And this is what they do in this country. And she's and like, okay, focus. I don't care. How could you not care? Because our friend is right there. Let's go. You know, and it's right. like, it was like, that was the first sign of like, oh, Elizabeth is not focusing. And she's not focusing because she's worried about her kids. She's worried about everything else. And like, she's not quite in the right spot. I don't, I don't think, right? Is that, is that how you read that? Well, I, I don't know. I mean, I, it's, it's such a trick because like I said, the, the, the mission for Claudia is off the books. Right. So she's been working this whole thing on the other side to go after the uh, to go after Andrew Larrick, the uh, the naval instructor from uh, at Annapolis, who's who's you know who who is 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 the guy that they need to get a hold of that yes. that the other couple was blackmailing because he's gay. Right. So she's on this whole side mission that is not sanctioned by the resident tour. It has is not, and so the resident tour is approaching them. This is the only mission you got right now. What the right. hell? Yeah. You know, and so you know, and, and I know last season there was a, there was I remember when they had to plant the bug in. Uh, Oh, who's Weinberger's. In, in Weinberger's house. And, and he said, we don't have time. We don't have enough time to pull this off. Uh -huh. And I kind of felt that way about this mission. I felt like they were like, they were like just slapping it together. Like, all right, okay, yes, yeah. Well, go pick him up. What the hell? He's a scientist. It's not right. going to be a big deal. He's walking out of his mistress's house. He's probably just had sex. He's, he's, he's tired. He's right. a little confused. We got him. <laughs> right. and, and is, that, is that how you are after? Dude, I... <laughs> If you're gonna if you're, if you're gonna kidnap me and, and repatriate me to Russia, that's the best time to do it. Right, got it. Um, but uh, you know, I, I just I felt like that was just there's one too many you know irons in the fire and, yeah. and 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 something dropped. So it played out like they they bagged him, they they chlor they chloroformed him, had the trunk popped, things seem to be going well, and then a, another hit team shows up. Boom. Uh, now we don't know if this was a team that was there to protect to, him, protect, kidnap. Uh, we don't know if they are American, if they're Russian, if it's you know what what what's going on here, but we do know we had a great cool action fight sequence. And that I jumped when they you know when 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 they when they showed up. Yeah, and, uh, and the window broke, and there's a gunshot, and it was a good it was a good fight. And I like the way they did the fight. You know where they're each of them like you know uh, Phillips fighting the woman and Elizabeth fighting the man. You know <laughs> that was kind of cool. And Elizabeth f's him up. Well, she does. And does not stop. Does not stop, and def definitely loses her ish. You know, definitely loses it and snaps. And because of that. You know, Philip has to go make sure she's okay and tell her to knock it off. And because of that, the other rod gets up and drives off with uh, our, our, guy, our our Russian friend. Our Russian friend. That can't be good. No, it can't be good at all. Because they're you know they, they have no. This is nineteen eighty four. You can't track them. You can't. You know, like, there's, no there's no cell phone to track. Cell phone to track. There's no uh, it's not born identity. You know, you can you check the grids. Right. You know, for all, check all the, check all the security cameras. Like no. He's, he might be gone. He might be in the wind. Oh man! But, but they do have they do have the guy left over. So there. So I'm, we're assuming that they will you know find out who he is. I would imagine there'll be some questions there for him. Some, there's, some, there's some questions. I would imagine those questions will be fairly forceful in nature. They'll involve a chair. They might involve a chair <laughs> and, and a light and, uh, and maybe some, some sticks. So uh, so that's us. So we, we've got. I, I like I like a good cliffhanger. It's like this was a real legitimate cliffhanger. We got you know we got Martha snooping around. What's going to happen there? We've got you know a real real problem here with uh, what's going on with, uh, with with this mission. We've got you know a killer, presumable like you know hit hitman on the loose. Um, we've, we'll find out when, when why Claudia is involved. We're trying to figure out what, what's going on there, and. Um, and we have a you know a new a black guy coming, in, a presumably black <laughs> director of the FBI coming in uh, to to be bad. <laughs> uh, you know I, I I wish I I wish I had even ten percent of an inkling that you were wrong, but I don't. He's coming in from the Atlanta field office. I'm like Atlanta. <laughs> the only place black in Atlanta is Washington D.C. You guys are already here, <laughs> so <laughs> that, that's, that's it. That, that's, that's a lock. Oh a man, a lock that he's black. All right, uh, I could be wrong. It is 1984. Uh, I do want to. Um, uh, we, I didn't get the previews. I watched on iTunes. Did you get previews? Joe? I did. I got the previews. What do and we got? There's a lot of be there's there's a good beat down for next uh, for next for next okay. week. Uh, and and you know it, it, it's the Americans. The previews give you a little bit, but they don't give you too much. Right. Um, but that's what I recall. Is they they've got this guy and they've got to figure out a way out of that neighborhood. And they're uh, they're obviously stuck. I mean they've got no car. They're stuck in the neighborhood. Yep. And they, they're gonna you know eventually someone's gonna call the police because we're busted windows and yelling and car peeling out. So. Okay. 
Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Well, let's. Can we go on some news? I got just one quick news item. You got a news After item? Buzz TV news. Yeah. Well, no. I just, you know, our our, our friend, our, our our friend and 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 listener and follower and 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 uh, and journalist, uh, Lois Elfman, who has uh, who's interviewed some folks and, and does a lot of things. She's has a great piece up on uh, Divine Caroline. If you want to check it out, divinecaroline.com. She has an interview with Allison Wright. Martha, AKA poor Martha, poor Martha from the Americans, and it's a it's it's it's, it's a nice little interview, but it talks about how you know she gets into how you know you know Martha's English, which which I didn't know actually, I don't know why I didn't know that, and you know and Matthew Reese is Welsh, and you know talk about you know just just how 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 they may you know interact with each other on the set and joking and doing other things, just some interesting stuff there. Uh, she talks about the being on the show and 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 the and the the history of it, her being English and being involved with such a show with American history and blah 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 blah. It is, uh, it's a good read. So check it out um, on divinecaroline.com. That's all I got. There you go. All right. Uh, predictions. Your After Buzz TV predictions. You know, they keep us on the toes with this this new drop or the old drop or the old cool. drop or the new drop. Um, I guess I guess I have to go? Go. All right, I'm going to go. Okay, so here's what I think. I think that that other team was put in place by Claudia. I think they're Russian. I don't I don't trust Claudia. Hmm. I want to trust Claudia. Like I said, I really want to, but I don't. So uh, I had to make sure you guys were doing the job. I had I didn't trust. That's, that's, I'm that's, sorry, that's always a wrap, right? Always. I had to make sure you guys were safe. I had to make sure you know. It's it's not my fault. I had to beat the living s out of you just just to. It just came to, from upstairs. Yeah, it's not it's not on me. So I think that uh, I think that's going to be the deal with that. And I predict that this church thing is going to get really ugly with Paige, um, because I you know I think you know when you raise when you raise your kids without religion, which is kind of what we're doing in my house. They tend to ask some questions, but it's fairly it's sporadic. It's not very often, and it's every now and again. But um, but once once it does once the the Pandora's box does get open, as I'm dealing with right now, also it kind of you know it's not going anywhere, and and you're going to have some some difficult questions. And I think that that Paige, especially at this age, and and given the amount of secrecy and the fact that mom and dad just had a breakup and to get back together, I think that the religion uh, the religion is going to give her all the answers for that that a, that a teenage mind will will need. Like no, they well, they, it's against God's plan. That's why they broke up and got back together. You know, but right. the whole, so I'm thinking that's going to be a real, it's going to be a real, a real good fight for them. Okay, well, I I, I do think that that's going to that 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 relationship will continue. That whatever is going to happen with Paige and the church, her involvement, that's not going away. How they'll handle that is what what may or may not help expose them to Paige. I think Paige is going to know more than she wants to know um, pretty soon here, and I don't know how that's going to play out, but it's going to involve truth. You know, and, Ooh, hope not. and so there's that. Um, I'm also, uh, but my, my, my very specific, very, very specific prediction is, um, I still think Oleg. I think Oleg will Oleg will be running the Resident Tour next week. You <laughs> I think, think next week? I see next week. Oleg, Oleg's sitting oh, in the chair. Or Katie's out. Gad's been pushed I, off to the side. Whole I, can't, new power I, structure. I keep saying it. Like, open that door and Oleg's going to have his feet up on the desk. Oh, Nina, come in. Yeah, <laughs> I need to debrief Arkady you. Arkady Ivanovich, it was nice to yes. see you. Get the hell out of my office. Exactly. Well, we'll see. Uh, Joe Flippo, where can we find you? Uh, you can find me on the Twitters at Joe Flippo, J-O-E-F-L-I-P-O. My website is josephsanflippo.com, and you can find me here with Mr. Braswell uh, doing all kinds of shows here at AfterBuzz. We do the following. We do uh, Bates Motel, Blacklist, Hannibal, and The Americans. And uh, thank you guys for listening on iTunes. And if you ha are listening on iTunes, uh, we love to be rated. And if we like to be rated, we like a certain number. Joe, fives. Uh, maybe fives. Yes, fives are great. That's a lot. Well, you can find me all the places you, you Joe just said you can find him, and also at Joe K Braswell on Twitter and Instagram. I cannot talk. Thanks for joining us. See you next week. <laughs> <laughs> From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later. later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. Thank you for watching AfterBuzz TV on YouTube. For more of your favorite after shows and interviews, subscribe to our channel here, and be sure to share your opinion on the episode in the comment section below here. We'd love to see what you guys are buzzing about. Thanks again. Buzz you later.